Hey, hello and welcome back to the channel. Please uh, make sure you like and subscribe. This is the third part of the Vue.js project that I posted. Um, what we're going to do here is we're now going to pass data into the form and allow you to edit records and update records, delete records, all that good stuff. Um, okay, let's start off with, I'm probably starting back, we're going to start off here in the home component. And as you remember from the last video, the component passes back a canceled flag if the user hits cancel in the modal dialog. If the user hits cancel in the modal dialog and we don't want to save any data, what we're going to do for now is we're just going to alert the user um, that they've hit cancel and just kind of have a nice UI. But if they didn't hit cancel, what we want to do here is we want to actually save the data. We want to do something productive with the data. Okay, what we want to do here is if they're not canceled, we want to actually add the data. We're going to use a, the string of the current time as a number, as the ID. And then we're going to use a map, and we're using the list data set with the ID as the key. And then we're passing the data back into the set. Now let's go up to the top here and actually create the new reactive object um, called list data that we're going to use to hold um, the data as you edit. Um, we're using reactive objects since we're using TypeScript. I'm going to have to make sure I lay out the type, um, but we're going to initialize the reactive object with a map that has a string as a key and it'll contain any object. I'm not going to get too crazy with the TypeScript. So we have that set. Um, that's movie. Now let's um, set the type appropriately here. And that Looks like we're good to go. Oh, sorry, let's put leave a little comment here, my bad. Back, back, back. Appropriate comment. Hold list of items. So um, I'm going with the map. It's a little bit cleaner than using a list and kind of searching through the list to find the objects and insert the objects. So I can just do a set and use the key. You'll see it's more helpful when I'm doing the delete and the updates of the objects later. Now let's go up to the template and instead of showing the modal info that comes back, we will show you the object that gets created um, when we do the list data set, um, let's go down and return in our setup. And here we want to return um, list data since we need that property in the template. And let's kind of organize this a bit and let's move all the properties down to the bottom underneath the comment. And let's add a comment and leave the functions at the top. Okay. Let's spin this up again and see what happens. All right. Add an object. Done. Close. Hmm, that does not look right. Let's see what's going on. Why is this not working? I'm setting it properly. I have the ID. That all looks fine. That looks fine. Um, let's see what's going on template. Oh, that's it. That, so I'm trying to show you an object and that's not what I want to do. I need to convert that um, list data object to an array. Um, and you can do that by doing list data, which are the maps, and say give me the values, and the values is iterable, iterable, I always mess that up, iterable, and then you can use the um, static method on the array object called from, and what we'll do, it'll do is it will create an array from the iterable, and we'll uh, render that in the UI. So let's do that, array from the uh, list data values. Uh, and let's get my typing correct here. So now you see, you can see that we got the array. Let's add some objects. Object added. Let's add one more just to be sure. Oh, let's change the date so I'm not faking on y'all. And we get the other object added. So that looks good. Let's clean this up a bit and use a uh, computed value. Computed value we're going to call display list, and what we're going to do is we're going to take all that um, logic up from the template where we convert the um, map to an array, and we're going to create a computed function. So what will happen is that actually computed property. So what will happen is that every time um, list data changes, um, we'll automatically convert it, the, it to an array, and that array will be assigned to um, display list, and that's what we'll use in a template, just to kind of clean up the template a little bit. So we're just going to copy that code we have there, add it to our computed. We need to make sure we return the display list um, from our setup. So let's copy that. Let's put it down here with the rest of our properties. we we'll kind of replace the list data. Let's give it a go. Okay. So looks like we got what we wanted. We have a cleaner template. Uh, got the ability to show you guys how to use computed uh, properties. And um, 
let's keep it moving here. All right. But I seem to have an error. For some reason, even though I hit cancel, it added a empty ID, which it should not have done. So let's check and see. Am I getting a event data? Is canceled, canceled. All right, so it's, it's returning an is canceled property, not a canceled property. So let's switch that to is canceled. Let's test it again and see. All right, we cancel. I see my alert and nothing got added. The data close and it does get added. Cancel, nothing added. All right, so that's good. So um, our modal is straight for adding. Well, what are we gonna do? Let's clean it up. Let's change close to save to make it look a little better. And what else do we have? Okay, let's see if we can clean up the UI bit here. Let's get rid of this. Um, this just JSON stringify the object and let's use the V4 and um, create a list of items and start to get into some of the Ionic uh, UI components. So make sure that whenever you create a list that you set the key, it helps with the rendering, um, making sure that the, we're only updating the DOM objects that have changed and the key helps out a lot with that. So let's just see, let's just test this. I save, all right, so I'm getting my two items created. Uh, that's kind of plain. But now we have to go through the sometimes painful process of finding all of the associated ionic um, objects that need to be added to my um, import and added to my component. So let's start with the ionic item. So we're going to wrap the whole thing in item. Oops, sorry, I am using view, so I need to use this kind of hyphen format as opposed to the camel case. So we're going to wrap that into an item. Where's my end tag? Well, let's first let's add the an item and add it down here too. So I know it seems tedious, but still, what's my error? Items defined. It's complaining. Up, 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 up. Oh, uh, I need my backslash. So, okay, let's add an item. Come on, save. Need a date. Need a date. Save. Okay, there you can tell we got the item, you can see the little line underneath there, which is the default behavior of the item, it gives you the underscore. So, we know I have my item there. Okay, let's add some functionality to this now. Let's, let's handle the delete. So, what we're going to try and do is, when you click on the object, when you click on the list item, we want to delete the object. And um, since we're using a map, and our map is called list data, calling delete with the key of the object you want to delete is all you need to do delete the object. So um, let's add our function to the bottom here. We're going to have access up in the template. And let's put that back on there. Where did that go? Hmm. Must have hit undo. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to on a um, on an object on, uh, on a click we want to delete the object um, that the user has um, selected. So let's add some more of the great Ionic UI. We're going to use Ionic icons um, and we're going to put a little button on the end here um, that when you click the button it'll delete the object. To save type in a bunch of code. I have um, some sample code that shows how to um, put a button at the end of a list item. So we'll paste that, paste that in and so here's what we get. So you get an Ionic button. You get a button um, we slot puts it on the end. We're going to make the fill clear. And then in it, you see we have this um, trash.sharp icon that we're going to use. The click self makes sure the event only works when you click specifically on the icon. Uh, specifically on the ion icon. Now let's add um, our ionic type. So we need to add the ion icon as a um, import. And then we need to add it as a component. It's going to be exposed. We need to uh, that's complaining because it's not being uh, returned from the setup function. So we need to return the trash sharp object so that it is rendered properly. Okay. So let's add an item and see if we get what we're looking for. So yes, we have our little delete object showing on the end. And when I delete it, my object goes away. So everything's working as desired. And what else can we do to kind of clean this thing up a bit? Let's try it again. We can get in it. So that seems to be working right. 
Let's clean up this by wrapping it. Mm, why is it not wrapping properly? That's right, you gotta, I gotta put the div in there and put the wrap on the div. So let's get that UI going. That looks right. Yes, yes. Okay. Let's kind of reformat this a bit. Sometimes the the built-in uh, formatter doesn't make it look quite right. Now I leave stuff kind of lingering on the bottom there. Let's manually straighten this up a bit. All right, let's add my item. Bang, bang, bang. Done, save. Got my item, you can see it's wrapped so you can see everything clearly. Which I think is what we were trying to get. So we've shown you how to add an item. We showed you how to delete an item. We've added the an icon. But let's kind of clean this up with some code that I have from previously. So um, we're going to show the title, we're going to show the description, and we're going to show the due date. Uh, and we're also going to show the ID on the bottom. Once again, utilizing the ionic components. So you see the nice little object that we have, see how everything is nice and clean and we can delete. Um, I think that's all we're going to cover for today. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned because we have the next part of the video coming up, which we're going to show how to edit the objects also. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.